Oh, good morning to everyone and a very Merry Christmas. Hope you're all having a great day and uh, best wishes to everyone, to your families and uh, may you all be safe over the Christmas and New Year break um, and obviously best wishes for the New Year and uh, let's hope we have a prosperous 2014 and we can put the unlucky 13 behind us. Uh, we go to Happy Valley on Thursday night. Um, not a bad card. There's a couple of races there that have uh, got a little bit of interest in them. Uh, there's a small jackpot on the TT, so obviously we'll be involved there. Nothing in the six up. Uh, there's no jackpot, so unless we can uh, narrow a couple of legs down and play it for half a unit or a full unit, we won't touch that. Uh, at this stage, I haven't found any uh, bankers in other races to uh, play cues or anything else, so... We'll have a closer look at it again tonight and again, obviously, tomorrow. As always, with that type of betting, uh, the market will dictate whether we get involved in not or not. Uh, we go to race one. Typical class five opens the card up. Uh, all times lucky. Probably ready to win a race like this. This is not a difficult race. Um, its last run was good. Scott Barry of four and Purton. That'll uh, probably make sure it starts close to favourite. Uh, global fame, reasonable run the other day. Dickie Lou goes on it. Barrier five's a, a, a bit of a plus there, so that's going to help. <clears throat> Walt Park's been going all right for the new trainer at the track work. Wouldn't be surprised to see this uh, finally run a decent race, uh, given how weak a race this is. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, of the rest, Marvel Plus, a uh, good run first time at the trip. Uh, to run third, came home quite nicely late. Probably could do the same again. Uh, Flying Keeper, Viva Dolvin, and the old crab, uh, Hollywood Kiss. But it's a pretty ordinary race. Three on top from 110. Chances to 11, 8, 2, 4, and 9. Race two, uh, K Mookie drew bad last start. They dragged it back to last. That's not its go, it's a front runner. Uh, it's drawn much, much better, and Perton's go goes onto it. Now, if it handles coming around the tight uh, Happy Valley circuit and gets in front, might give them something to catch. Well done's racing really well at the moment. It's got a chance. Uh, Moneymaker, bad draw, uh, but its track work indicates it's ready to fire up, so it's going to improve. Same with the horse called Kids and Win. It's got absolutely no form. If it ever brings any of its track work to uh, a race day, It'll give them something to think about. Uh, must include it at a big price. Pretty ordinary race. Um, of the rest, probably um, oh, Naughty Baby's always around, but again, it's drawn bad. And Red Courage, it's drawn out wide as well. It's a fairly tough race. There's a lot of chances because of a mediocre field. Uh, but number six, K Mookie on top from four, well done. One money maker, chances to 12 red courage, eight naughty baby, uh, three kids and win. Race three, another class four. Step I uh, had them covered a fair way out last time. It's going to get another good run right on the speed. Goes up to class four, uh, but uh, dropping a bit of weight here down to 50 kilos. So should get the nice run in transit and be hard to beat. Little Rainforest, it's starting to come back to its best form now. Its last two have been good. Um, it's a bit slow out of the gates, this thing now. It never used to be like that. It used to get out and ping straight to the front. Now he seems to be riding a little bit quiet and then wait for him to settle, then whip around him and go to the front. Um, it looks the pacemaker again, probably. Uh, Zachary's racing well enough. Barrier 10, no favours to it. Expectator. Um, still a maiden, but run some really good races from barrier three. If you can posse it up a bit closer, it could be in the finish at a bit of a price. And of the rest, perfect moment, goal scalp always running on in these sort of races. I've got 12 on top. Step high from eight little rainforest, 10 Zachary. Chances to nine, four, five and six. We go to race four, opening leg of the TT. Uh, fairly tough race. Um, winning mascot, it's ready to win. The problem with it is it gets back off the speed. Um, Purton goes back on. Goes all right this track and this distance. 
must be included as probably the main winning chance in the race. Beauty King won a trial very easy, had a lap full of horse when he went to the line. It looks ready to go off a five week gap. Um, must go in. Plain Red Banner ran a good race first up, still there, close to the line, didn't finish far away. Um, goes all right this track and distance, so it must go in. Speedy Gonzalez, Travel Spark, they look the best of the, of the rest from the win line. Probably from a place line, Expedite might be able to run a play, uh, place. <clears throat> Rising Power and Holy Mac look best of the rest. But uh, three looks the banker on top. Ten, seven, four, nine. Small chances to run in the money to two, twelve, and one. We go to the middle leg. Majestic Anthem's racing really well. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat in this with 56 and a half. Drawn well. Chadwick's riding well. Um, it's the one to beat. Yi Chong Star uh, racing really well now. Um, this looks the obvious danger to me. Um, not a lot of depth in this race. I think um, could almost take a risk here and go double bank. Um, double bank these two and uh, I think we'll get a pretty reasonable run for our money with both of them. Uh, forgive and forget, form doesn't look good on paper, but it's drawn a barrier and Preble goes on, it'll improve. Noble Boy, Electronic Fortune, Royal Partner, and probably to a lesser extent, uh, Spirit Soaring and Magnanimous. Look, the only horses that can run a place, it's just a matter of how we, how we structure this one. We may end up playing a ticket with Majestic Anthem as the main banker and then a double bank with, uh, Yi Chong Star. But uh, five on top from four, then three and two, chances to seven, eight, uh, 12 and 10. The last leg, 1,000 metre race, race six. Fun and Games racing really, really well. On speed runner from barrier three. Uh, there's a lot of speed in this race. <coughs> um, I don't know whether he'll want to lead with it. If he leads... Um, it can win. If he takes a sip, it's probably got a better chance. Uh, Eastern Promise was good last start. Just got nailed right on the line. Now it's got the barrier draw. Rocket let win beat it last time, but it had the inside draw. Now it goes to the outside, so Eastern Promise should beat it home. Um, Sight Believer's drawn out again, but it'll go forward and sit outside the lead. It was a good run last time. Super Fresh, it's got the barrier to ping to the front. Uh, if they want to ride it that way, Got a good chance. St. Yatsen and Charity Joy look best of the rest. Probably not a race with a great deal of depth. Um, there only looks like there's about six or maybe, uh, yeah, probably six decent chances in the race. Not a bad ticket there. Fun and Games and Eastern Promise look the best of those. Um, probably Eastern Promise from the, from the draw. It's racing really well and goes good at this track. Uh, could be a banker. Uh, not much between the two of them, so we'll have a close look at that. Uh, five and four on top together from nine, two, seven, three. Small chances to ten, one. And maybe uh, Master Atheist now. Got good UK form. Um, his trial was all right, but nothing outstanding. It's got a bit of speed, so from barrier two, may need to include it. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a reasonably tough race. This to thousand metres. This is the killer leg. Uh, this is where you can catch a blowout here. Uh, as I said, five on top from four and nine. Chances to two, seven, three, eight. Small chances to ten and one. We go to race seven. Golden Harvest is stepping up to the next level. Um, been impressive. It's last two. Very soft. Uh, drops down to 54 and a half kilos. It's going to be hard to beat. Uh, happy era. Uh, not sure what happened to this first up. Found a bit of trouble and then uh, they scoped it and found a little bit of mucus. Uh, its track work's been really good since. Uh, expect big improvement from this horse. Um, Fion's treasure. Barrier 1, 52 kilos. It's going to ping straight out onto the speed and either lead or take a sit. It's going to be hard to beat in a race like this. Could be a price. Um, 
El Zonda. Now, this has got no form, but it's coming back to its best track and distance now and must go in at a big price. Of the rest, bullish friend Imperial Rome and fulfil a wish. Uh, but 12 on top from 10 and 11. Chances for 2, 8, 7 and 3. We go to the last race. Not a lot of depth there. Perfect cheers. Uh, this is its track and distance. This is its go. Barrier 6. The 59 never helps, but uh, does carry weight, so it'll be there. Racing Hero goes well over this distance. The track's the concern. It's had five goes here for one place. Got Barrier 2, so it's going to get it right up onto the speed. Must be included. Pleasure Gains goes good here, track and distance. Failed last start. He's given it five weeks off, and its track work's been really good. Um, expect it to fight, come back to uh, better form for this race. Fun rider, bullish boy, Alvi Celeste and Victory Master look the best of the rest. Um, but one on top from six and seven, chances to two, twelve, eight and four. It's an interesting card. As I say, the TT will be the main focus for us. Um, we'll have a look at the six up. If we can get a couple of skinny legs where we can play into something for at least half a unit or maybe a full unit, we may consider it for a small investment. Other than that, it uh, looks like the TT will probably be the only go. I'm just going to have a look at the uh, Aussie stuff in case there's anything there from a spring attack point of view. But on face value, looks fairly ordinary meetings everywhere. Uh, spotted a couple out of the black books that uh, may be anchors in um, a quaddy if we decide to go that way or even an all up. Um, but we'll make that decision later on this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. As I said, uh, have a very, very Merry Christmas today and uh, uh, good luck on the punt when we join back in tomorrow. Thank you very much.